Hello everybody, I am Braj Naik from the channel Knowledge Hub. Today I am going to tell you about different steps to start a building project. Please like and subscribe the channel for the new updates of videos. Please click on the bell icon for the notification of new videos. Before starting a building project, there may be two categories of topics. The first one is for the new new building and the next one is for the existing building and for the new building the topic may be seismic analysis and design of multi-story building and the for the existing building the topic may be the retrofitting of building in the new building we have to analyze and design of different building components such as analysis and design of foundation analysis and design of column analysis and design of beam slab staircase and so on but whereas for the retrofitting of building we have to analyze the performance of building under earthquake load while select selecting the topic first you decide in which category you are interested that is for seismic analysis design of multi-story building or retrofitting of building under the seismic analysis and design of multi-story building, you have to choose either residential building up to 2.5 story or apartment building or hospital building or com commercial complex. Similarly, under the category of retrofitting of building, you have to choose the same building, but this category goes under the already constructed building. And the next step goes to collection and study of architectural drawings. Before starting a project, you have to collect the architectural drawings that con contains building plan, building elevation, building section, 3D view of building, and number of story, story height, unit system. For example, I am going to tell you about architectural, architectural drawing. And here is <coughs> this is a architecture drawing of a hotel building. This is plan, ground floor plan of building, and this is first floor plan. First floor, second floor, third floor, and fourth floor plan of building. That is symmetric plan. And this, this is the basement plan of building. This is used for parking purpose. Similarly, this is the 3D view of same building. This. Similarly. This is the this is the plan architectural architectural plan of residential building and this is ground floor plan floor area is eighteen hundred eighty two point zero five square feet this is first floor plan and floor area is eighteen hundred eighty two point zero five square feet this is a Second floor plan and floor area is plinth area is 1376 square feet floor area and here in in plan you can see this is a grid system 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is in y direction similarly a b c d this is the grid along x direction and in in a system you you can see that this is in inch feet and this is the different rooms such as guest room this is a hall this is lobby a staircase this is dining hall this is kitchen a storeroom master bedroom this is car parking in ground floor similarly in first floor you can see this is bedroom dressing room bedroom dressing room 
this is toilet this is master bedroom this is for office purpose this is guest room in second floor there is terrace family hall room this is also room room common bathroom and so on and this is the site plan where the building is to be constructed similar this is the east elevation of the same same building that is here this is north south east and west this means from this direction when we see the building and we looks like this east elevation similarly south from when you look the building from south direction and the building looks like that way this is railing this is windows this is door window similarly this is west elevation west elevation of building this is railing this is north elevation of building so this is section of building and section in section we can see the staircase there are how many steps in a staircase this is a door this is a railing this is this is ground level plinth level plinth level that means zero zero height and the first story height is 10 feet 6 inches that means a story height of building is 10 feet 6 inches similar for second story another 10 feet 6 inches 10 10 20 or 6 6 12 means 1 feet 21 feet similarly for third floor 31 feet 6 inches and this is height of parapet that is 31 3 feet this is 3 feet we can also measure from dimension if it is in a scale this is 3 feet similarly we can also measure this 10 feet 6 inches this is also 10 feet 6 inches or <coughs> we can we can find out a story height by subtracting 21 feet minus 10 feet 6 inches and the result goes 10 feet 6 inches this means we can study different different things from its architectural drawing similarly we can see this is column and side is 1 ft and this is also 1 ft 1 ft by 1 ft this is wall main wall this is window and main wall thickness is 9 inch similarly this is partition wall partition wall thickness is 4 inch and please remember that the main wall goes around the boundary line of the building of the plan and the partition wall goes inside the building and that is either from pillar to pillar column to column or from beam to beam similarly here we can also see column 1 ft by 1 ft this is main wall around the boundary of the plan and and inside walls are partition walls so that in a roof floor this is main wall this is window this is column and there is a room side 14 ft 7 inch by 15 ft 7 inch this is terrace this is a staircase and so on. and the third step was to primly design of building components and building components includes column beam slab 
and primary design means the size of column, size of beam, size of slab. And generally slab thickness is taken as 4 to 5 inch. Similarly, beam size, beam size means width and depth of beam. Similarly, column size means width and depth of column. And we can see from here. Determination of column, primary design of column means this, this size and this size. And here in architectural drawing, that is one feet by one feet. But in primary design, it may be higher. Similarly, for beam, you can see here beam. This is beam and here is the B means 9 inch and D means this. This 15 plus 5, 20 inch. 9 inch by 20 inch is the size of beam. And in primary design, we have to determine tentative size of beam. That is this B and this D. And in slab, we have to determine the thickness of slab and then the fourth step is load calculation in building there are so many loads applied and the, the load may be dead load that means self weight of building and another dead load may be manual load partition wall load parapet wall load finishing load the next load may be live load, a staircase load, earthquake load in both direction, in x direction and in y direction. Similarly, wind load. And the next step is modeling of building in E types. And we have to model the architectural drawing in E types. We can also model in SAP or STAT Pro. then after modeling we have to apply the calculated loads in the model and the load may be dead load live load earthquake load wind load staircase load wall load partition wall load finishing load and so on then next step goes to analysis of building and we have to perform analysis either by seismic coefficient method or by response spectral method. In seismic coefficient method we have to perform a static analysis. In response spectral method we have to perform dynamic analysis. And the details of both analysis I, I will tell you later. And in analysis of building <coughs> the main purpose is to find out axial force, shear force, bending moment and base shear. And with, with the help of these forces, we have to design a beam, slab, column, staircase, footing, and the reinforcement. Then in the analysis of building, we have to also see in the story drift, eccentricity of building, torsional effect of building, mass participation ratio, time period. And the next step goes to verification of results from e types. After the analysis of building in e types, <coughs> there are many results. I said before that is a story dips, eccentricity, torsional effect, mass participation, ratio time period. And we have to verify from the theoretical calculation and whether it is in limit or not. If it is not in limit, we have to change the column size, <coughs> beam size, and again verify the results from the E-type to the manually calculated result. Then after analysis of building, we have to design foundation, 
column, beam, slab, and a staircase. And in foundation design, we have to determine the footing size or combine. It may be combined footing, it may be mat foundation, it may be pile foundation, and the reinforcement details in the foundation. Similarly, in column, we have to determine column sizes and reinforcement details of column. In beam, we have to determine beam size and the reinforcement detail means element of reinforcement in beam. In slab, we have to determine the thickness of slab and the reinforcement details, whether it is one-way slab or two-way slab. In a staircase, we have to determine the reinforcement details of a staircase. Then after <coughs> designing the build, building components, we have to perform the detailing of building components that is a foundation foundation reinforcement detailing column reinforcement detailing beam reinforcement detailing slab reinforcement detailing a staircase reinforcement detailing and that's all this is the different steps to be carried out while performing the building projects